Tempest, come in. This is the Victory, attempting to make contact. Tempest, please report. This is Admiral Cooper of the Victory. Please come in. Tempest, please report. This is Admiral Cooper of the Victory. Please come in. Admiral, you requested me? Sergeant Price. Indeed I did. I believe I have a mission for you and your squad. K-Squad, isn't it? That's correct. That cruiser out there, drifting all by itself, is the Tempest. The Tempest, eh? What happened to her? Well, that's your mission, Sergeant. She went missing a week ago. No distress call. Its comms are open, but no one is responding. So it's a ghost ship? Perhaps. Its mission is also highly classified, blocked off even to me. That makes it more interesting. Or more concerning. Board the ship, get to the bridge, and recover its system logs. I'm sending with you an investigator and Ram Squad. Ram Squad? Um, I don't think Ram Squad is necessary, Admiral. Why is that? To put it bluntly, we don't exactly get along all too well with other squads, Admiral. Very well. Dismissed. Oh, by the way, scans indicate the Tempest is carrying an unusual cargo. If anything happens, I'll do what I must. Of course, Admiral. that's taken the ship. Come on, Hobbs, you really believe that? Well, as a matter of fact... All right, squad, listen up! We've got our first assignment to tackle today. In a couple of moments, we'll board the Tempest. Control doesn't know what's happened to her, and that's our mission. We go in, get to the bridge, we gather at system logs, and get out. Very simple. Any crew, Sarge? We need to find that out, Johnny. Hey, Sarge, uh, who's she? My name is Idia Veen. I'm a Republic investigator. Ah, right. She's a VIP. Nothing can happen to her whatsoever. Alia, this is Johnny, Xander, Finn, Charles, Adam, and Hobbs. It's a pleasure to be working with you all. <sighs> so it's one of these missions. <laughs> Odd. There's no crew. Yeah, I don't like it. Comms aren't working. Charles, you stay here and guard the ship. The rest of you, on me. I don't like this. It's given me the creeps. The skate pods are still here. That means they never left. How much further until we reach the bridge? Oh, I'm not too familiar with the layout of this ship. Not too far, though. Ah, uh, I hate that. Come on. Let's keep moving. This place? Well, I guess it's maintenance. One moment. Any luck? No, it's odd. It keeps overriding my override. That's possible? Where's the ventilation? Uh oh. Uh, Sarge, is this part of the plan? I'm getting higher here. Squad, you've trained for this. <laughs> <laughs> 
Magnetars, quickly! Ah! Alien, where are you? I'm here, behind you. Here, grab my arm. Chris, Jody, Magnetars! It's not working, sir! Broken his leg, sir. Right, Hobbs. Take Finn and go back to Charles and wait for us. My guess is the reactor is failing. We might not have long. Go. You got it. You okay, Johnny? I'm fine, Sarge. Uh, look, uh, I think we should just get out of here. Something by far is not right. No, we need to complete the mission first. We're already down a man! And more weird things might happen. We must complete our mission, Johnny. It's our duty. We must push on. Price. I'm getting readings of a hazardous air supply. Perhaps ventilation is also down. Great, that's concerning. Rest of you, let's move. Bridge, then the best we can do is restore ventilation. Okay, but where would that be? I'm unsure. Maybe near the reactor? It would make sense for it to be. We'll try this way. Blast! How does this even happen, Sarge? I'm hoping we'll find our answer on the bridge. It's just us now. Let's keep going. Is that the hyperdrive? Move it! Let's go! It's going in the hyperdrive. Disengage! Quickly! Man, that ship is going into hyperdrive! Quickly, ready the turbo lasers. Fire on my mark. We cannot let that ship get away. No. the Republic Research Division aboard the Tempest. Our labs have been compromised and our cargo has been breached. There's something, a creature perhaps, roaming around the ship. And a gas, some gas, it's killing off the crew. Systems are going haywire and, and there's not many of us left. That thing is hunting us. It won't be long before it finds us. That or the gas. Please, if you get this message, send help immediately. Say, Alia, can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. Why are you here with us, Johnny? No, no, like you seem like a nice person and all. I, I just was wondering, what made you join the Republic and go on dangerous missions and stuff? <laughs> do you really want to know? Yes, I do. I never had parents growing up was put in a home with other kids and looked down upon by everyone. For so long, I believed I was nothing to anyone. I wanted to be different. I wanted to be more. <laughs> I craved adventure, something the other kids never did. I wanted to be something big and something they never could. And here I am, after so many years of failure. Oh, right. You know, that's really similar to the squad and me. We're still nothing to anyone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Come on. Let's keep moving. It looks like the cargo hold. Scientist, smartest man aboard. He's discovered this gas that not only kills everyone nearly instantly, but also stimulates this creature he brought aboard from our last expedition. Expedition? You're on a research vessel. There's all sorts of things here. <coughs> he released this gas to kill everyone aboard so no one could stop him. It stimulated this creature and broke out. He escaped and killed everyone else the gas did it. And you said no one was able to stop him, correct? That's right. You must stop him at all costs. Please, this ship is going right to Girl's son. And with it a cargo hold of <coughs> that gas. It will spread like wildfire. Kill every living being. <coughs> Wait a minute, why hasn't the gas killed us? The whole species is immune. He wants to make sure his plan is carried out. <laughs> Me, almost immune. But you, we're all lucky. Your helmets are enough to filter what gas is left on the ship. <laughs> that control panel, open it up. Flip the switch. That will <coughs> manually rebuke the comms. <coughs> you can still stop Rigo from his plan. You can shut down the hyperdrive with a certain code. Only he has it. He'll be there though, I'm sure of it. You have my word. He'll be stopped. Testing. Hey squad, listen up. Our only way to stop this ship is at the hyperdrive itself. Charles, Ops, and Finn, you guys go get the escape pods ready. The rest of you, I'll meet you at the hyperdrive. It's over, Rigo. Give up the codes, now. Sergeant Price, I'll be honest, I'm surprised you made it this far for a clone. The codes! Give them! They're up here, Sergeant. And I'm afraid I can't do that. Besides, I need to do this for the people of Coruscant. Why kill all of those innocent people? What have they done? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yes, they're innocent. But Sergeant, 
Have you seriously not thought about what the Separatists will do to those people when they win the war? Win the war? Well, who told you that? It's so obvious. They will enslave everyone, torture them and do unspeakable things, and slowly kill them. I know because they did that to my people, and I will not let them do that again. Not to these people. So your solution is genocide? If there was another way, I would take it. This... this is more humane. There are other ways. Don't destroy their hope. Think about the innocent children. They have their whole lives ahead of them. You can't take that away from them. And you can't convince me to change my mind. To the core of my soul, I know this is the only humane option. Golly gee, for a lead scientist, you sure aren't thinking straight. Well, I don't expect a clone to know any better. You're all bred to do one thing. And I try to scare you all off. The doors, the lights, the gravity, all me. And you all didn't take the hint and leave. I didn't want to kill you, but it seems your stupid perseverance will lead to your own demise. Thool, give me the goat. Corazard will be safe. Not what it's always at war. Ah! ah, great. Now we're all gonna die. Thanks, Sarge. Well, maybe not. Oh, have you got an idea? Look, over there. They look like heat dampeners. If I'm correct and we destroy them, then the hyperdrive will overheat and take us out of hyperspace. You're right. The core will become unstable. Rip the whole ship apart. What other choice do we have? Can't argue with that. K-Squad, open fire! <laughs> On your feet, George. We are leaving! Hello there. 